Mom, this is delicious. Too delicious. What's happening, my good people? Today we are got, oh, I got a good one for you. You know how you're always going to the store and getting teriyaki sauce. Let's make some fresh teriyaki sauce. It's like no other, and it's so simple. Now, this recipe that I'm gonna share with you tonight is my special little twist on teriyaki, but believe me, you follow this recipe and you're gonna have a phenomenal result. Are you ready? You know what time it is. Let's get it. All right, let's get started. We're gonna kick it off with one cup of Kikkoman or any kind of soy sauce you want to use. Doesn't really matter. Basic grocery store is fine. Now, rice vinegar. You can use another type of vinegar, but I've had great success with rice vinegar. I like the way it tastes. We're gonna put a quarter of a cup you could even probably go with an eighth of a cup, but I kind of like the tartness, so I go with a quarter. But you can throttle back between an eighth and a quarter. Now we're going to add another quarter cup of brown sugar. You can use dark or light, or whatever you want. Get that in our liquid there. Now probably about three tablespoons of some really good honey. Need to put that in there. Now, about two to three teaspoons of some ground ginger, and then a quarter cup of some chicken broth or chicken stock. You can also substitute beef stock or vegetable stock, whatever you prefer, and about a tablespoon of garlic paste. Beautiful. Told you it was going to be simple. Two teaspoons tomato paste out of our toothpaste tube, as we always do. And we mix together. Look at this. I'm going to bring it all together. I told you this is so simple. And fresh teriyaki is like no other. Beautiful. Nice and mixed in. We want to slowly bring it up to a boil, and now we're going to thicken it up with our cornstarch slurry. We have about a quarter cup of cornstarch. We're going to add about an eighth of a cup of just plain old water. We're going to mix that in until it looks like glue. You know the consistency of glue. Nice little paste. And then remember, we want our liquid or our stock to be at a boil before we add our slurry. So important pro tip. Slowly add your cornstarch in and look at that thicken up. See that shine? That's what we're looking for. Nice, creamy thickness. All coming together so beautifully. Look at that. Last but not least, two tablespoons unsalted butter, just to add a little bit more richness to it. And boom, we are looking at some amazing fresh teriyaki sauce. How simple was that? Ah, the smell, the deliciousness. Chopped scallions for a little bit of color. Mm. Unbelievable. Gonna taste. Make sure it coats the back of the spoon. That's how we know it's nice and thick. Perfect consistency. We want to taste.
Just the seasonings. Do we need anything? Do we need anything? Uh, no, we don't. Oh, home run. Yes, we do. Eh, a little bit more honey. Why not? I want to add just a little bit more of that sweet flavor to balance out that vinegar. I think we got it going now. Perfecto. One more time. Make sure it coats the back of the spoon. Yes. Taste. How'd that last honey do? Did it balance it? Yeah, we got it. So there you have it, fresh teriyaki sauce. Mm. Lightly thickened with that cornstarch slurry, all the beautiful flavors. And as you see, it can go over salmon or any kind of fish. Or it can go over chicken, shrimp, saute some vegetables. It's unbelievable. I gotta get out of here. I'll see you next time. Until then, remember, Eat well and stay healthy.